Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Bruce Day Tuesday. It is it is Tuesday, and I am very happy to once again be joined with Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz. Huck, thanks for uh, coming in, my man. Thanks for having me, Drez. I always love to come by and drink some beer with my bud. Oh, yes. We're going to be doing just that today. And uh, per usual, you brought a six-pack of some good stuff, and uh, you already popped a couple of these caps. What are we, what are we drinking this week, well, man? We're going to start with the Goose Island Winter Ale. Since Goose Island's Winter Ale. Because it's been winter. Winter Ale, I'll be. Yeah, I actually just uh, I poured it, and uh, there's a little bit dripping down the bottle. So I got to lick, lick it low, lick it low. It says... Ah. Nutty chocolate aromas, roasted caramel malt finish. Yeah, that's what we can look forward to in this one, eh? Yeah, this is a, a very brown beer, very caramel. Yeah, it is pretty dark to the brown. It's got a nice. It does have a nice aroma to it too. Yeah, it's bringing in the whole, you know, nutty almond thing. It's we a were bit about. nutty. It's nutty. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have to bust on you. Yeah. Goose Island because what did Goose Island do? Oh, they sold out. Well, but they didn't sell everything. People are mistaken, and, and I don't know about this one. Let's see where it's made. It might tell us. Uh, what do you mean by they sold out? What they got well, bought out by yeah, the big in, boys? Yeah, InBev bought for their line, but Goose Island Brewery still exists and still makes a lot of good beer. Yeah, and I don't. You know, I probably should be more educated as to whether this is one or not. But I think this is <laughs> one that Goose Island still makes. But it does say it's made. In Fort Collins and Baldwinsville, New York. So I'm thinking this is probably made by InBev, but yeah. I could be wrong. And somebody can always correct us. We've been corrected before. We're branching out a little bit because Goose Island is out of Chicago. Chicago. Uh, so we're branching out a little bit because most of them have all been Virginia. We had that Carolina beer last time, but right, right. but uh, Goose Island's out of Chicago, right? Absolutely, yeah. And their brew pub on the north side of Chicago, if you go up past the the L, the, the square in the middle of town, you head north five miles, right? You get into the subway there, the overhead. I've never been to Chicago. You I walk a half no a mile, idea. there's a wonderful brew pub, and there's three or four other breweries in that neighborhood too, but they've got good beer and good food. Definitely a, a check off if you go to the Chicago area. So yeah, for check sure. that out. Yeah, and, and you were saying they, I guess they sold out or whatever, but I, I do know for a fact, I mean, yeah, Goose Island's one of those brews that, I mean, they're from Chicago. They've been down here for a while. You can find them pretty much anywhere. I know that they have the 312, I believe, is one of my go-tos for sure. Like, yeah, that'd be I the Hefeweizen, right? Yeah, I yeah. love me a, love me a Hefeweizen. Yeah, Huckett likes that as well. Yes. We oh. could bring her in one it's day. It's more of the girlier beers, but well, yeah, you it know, is, hey, it's, you, it's a lighter. You, you said it. I, I didn't it's say a, it. It's, just, it's a lighter. It's a little nicer. But uh, this guy, man, the Winter Ale, it's definitely a, a heavier, darker. Like we said, it's got that... It's got that nice, like I mean, they said it right on the bottle, man. Yeah, nutty chocolate aromas. I'd say that's pretty. Well, if cute. you like the three twelve, you're really going to like the next beer. But I'm not going to tell you what it is till after the break. Oh, what a nice little tease we got! Yeah. Gonna, so we're sipping here. Winter. It is getting damn cold in Blacksburg, but uh, shoot, is. you got a little bit of a slice of the warm weather not too long ago. You're out in Vegas. Yeah, I was in Sin City, and you know, one of my favorite beers out there is the Sin City beer, and, and really not because it's great beer, but. Be- because of the way they dress behind the bar. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's nice. But anyway, also <laughs> went to Ellis Island Brew Pub and Casino. They're out that way. Where yeah. I had, got some free beers. It cost me 100 bucks because I lost at the, uh, the gambling tables. But it's good. That's how they And I also you. go to the Main Street uh, Station, which was a brewery as well. Triple Seven Brewery. Very good beer. Did Definitely you, br- did you bring back any beer? Did You, br- yeah, you, you didn't know, bring they, me any? They don't bottle or can any of it. The oh. growler is not going to make it that yeah, long because I'll drink that. it on the plane. Yeah, you can't, you can't <laughs> do the growler. Actually, that's a good point, man. I, you know, with a lot of these breweries that are around here, uh, I know I own two or three, four growlers. And, you know, anytime you're going to be hitting up some breweries, you want to bring one or two. Now, how long should you like? How long can that sit in your fridge before you're like this beer doesn't taste good anymore? If you're if you're going growler style, well, you know, there's people say 48 hours, but I buy for my growlers. I use I buy special tops that are supposed to keep the oxygen. Oxygen's the enemy of a growler, so you, you get these special tops that keep it out. And can you pump the air out? Is well, that no. What, like, what's when so you, special about them? Up the CO2 is going to fill the bottle, you know, because the foam will be to the top. You put the cap on tight, and it'll it'll die down. Mm-hmm. But if they some places actually shrink wrap them after they fill them, they put the cap on a shrink wrap. Them. So you can probably they people told me four, five six days. I find four days is about maximum if you don't open it. Okay, now what? Once you open it though, then yeah. you, then the clock's ticking. What yeah, you got, twenty four like hours if that, and it's going to be flat the next day. I've got some in my refrigerator. I brought some of my 
figgy pudding home last night, and I drank a couple. So I'll have to finish it tonight if it's or it's not going to be really tasty. Words of wise for anybody going out. Now let's just go off on a tangent. I paid for one of those uh, go, uh, fund it, go fund it things. Go fund me. Yeah, and it's a growler with a top that takes one of those CO two cartridges like you use for your paint gun. Now and we're talking. The guy can't get it done, but if he ever gets done, uh, I'll let you know. Oh, you how it bought is. in on that, dude? Those GoFundMe's are such a scam. Don't ever do, you learn your lesson? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got dude. I've got two out there. I got this puck that you put your cold beer on it, charges your phone. You, of course, Huck's gonna buy that. Yeah, Huck's puck. Wait, wait, I was all over wait, it, waiting on the Huck's puck. Yeah, yeah. I think I was nineteen sixty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, those GoFundMe's are those are most of them are pretty big scam. Either way, we are going off on a tangent. Let's get back to it, man. Goose Island's Winter Ale. Uh, you about ready to untap this bad boy? Yeah, you know I'm I'm drinking this, and uh, you know I'm probably I'm probably biased here because we're looking at, you know I'm I'm seeing the InBev logo in the back. No, you know true or false, but you know it's just like I'm I'm like it's winter, and and I when I drink a winter beer, I want to be a little excited. I'm not really feeling it. So I'm giving it a three twenty five. Three two five. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 probably one of the lowest ratings we've gotten on this bad boy. Um, of course, and of course, you go first, and I'm going to sound repetitive. I don't know if I'm going to give it three, two, five. It is, it is one of those beers. I do like the wind. It is winter, and it tastes like a winter beer. So at least it's labeled properly, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's heavier. It's uh, it's got that kind of yeah, caramel, a uh, roasted kind of a flavor. Um, let me sip it again real quick. I mean, it's. It tastes. It almost has more of a brown ale t- taste. Yeah, to yeah, it. that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like you know, it's brown ale. In me. It's definitely brown ale, and, and and I'm not the biggest brown ale fan, but in the winter time, that is kind of when I'd like to drink them. I'll give it a three, two, five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if there's somebody throwing you maybe a little log of cinnamon in there, maybe a little nutmeg. I don't know. I might. I might have be better possessed for it but you know is there just, a way to spruce i mean would you do something like that to a beer you like, could i mean actually i have this they they have a thing it's called i'm not going to remember the name of it <laughs> but you run you can put spices in this thing dogfish head invented it and you pour your beer runs through it it spices oh, it up hmm. i'll think of it in a minute but, uh, okay, maybe we'll take a break and see if you can come up yeah, with it after that. Good. Well, uh, let's uh, let's go back. Uh, like I said, three, two, five. I untapped it. Huck untapped it. If you want to untap it yourself, go grab yourself some and uh, yeah, follow us on Untapped Dres Drinks. Huck's Beer Buzz. We're gonna take a uh, quick break, play some more tunes. What's up, real quick? You guys? Yeah, I was gonna say Untapped just recently merged with another company that does liquor. Ooh. Mm. We'll talk about that. Yeah, after yeah. Break. we'll talk about that. Let's uh, let's play a tune, and we'll be right back with more Bruise Day Tuesday on one hundred five point three The Bear. All right, round deuce of Bruise Day Tuesday. It is Drez alongside Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz, uh, popping and popping some more tops. I'm I popping see some tops over here, Drez. Yeah, I'm popping bro. some. Is it, is it tops with hops? This is uh, okay. Like we talked earlier, you know, we went to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. There's a place, you know, beer is has a lot in common with cereal. Oh, I love cereal. Where do they make I love good, them both so much. Where do they make good cereal? Oh, I don't know. Michigan. Is that where Kellogg's. it comes from? Kellogg's is from Michigan. That yeah. was that's what that was yeah. going to be my suggestion. Yeah, so Fruit we, we have this Bell's Winter White. Oh, from the Bell's. land of cereal. And not only that, it's got wheat, your favorite flavor. Dude, I do love the wheat beers. Get your apron on. <laughs> oh, just get it. Just <laughs> Give me this beer. <laughs> oh, man, yes, dude. I do. Bell's is one of my favorites. Uh, that's obviously not local-ish. They got a lot of good beers. And this is the Bell's Winter White Ale. Winter White. Brewed and bottled. Winter White. Comstock, Michigan. You ever been out that way? No, but that's on my list, not even my bucket list, because I want to do that way before I kick the bucket. <laughs> so maybe this year, maybe next year. I want to. Well, actually, we want to go out like out west to Yellowstone, and we would probably do two days in Michigan on our way. We get the northern route out and the southern route back. Kind gotcha. Of thing. And it would all be based on beers and beer festivals. No doubt. Now, first thing I notice after oh, pouring this is yeah. a. It is a lot lighter than the last beer that we had, the Goose Island. Yeah, you know, it's a happier winter beer. Yes. <laughs> and another thing I noticed is it looks like there's little bits floating in it, which means oh. hashtag unfiltered. Unfiltered. Which is my favorite. That's the way, I mean, or 
Now, not not all wheat beers are unfiltered, right? Yeah, some of those bits might have been something I spilled in your glass. <laughs> no, 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 we're good. Yes, absolutely. Unfiltered beer is, you know, I think Bell's has a bumper sticker that said, if God meant for beer to be filtered, he wouldn't have given us livers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we, we filter the beer. Stickers. That's what it's said, for. So we don't test our beer on animals because we have enough human subjects. So now, granted, uh, well, like, yeah, well, my question was wheat beer. Because I've had, I feel like most wheat beers, their stuff, you can tell it's unfiltered. But are all of them? Do you know? Well, no, all of them. There's never all of them. But yeah, most sure. of them are not. Most of them, yeah, yeah. most of them are not. Oh, this smells so great. You know, I'm trying to think of an example. Yet. I was snapping I mean, even for Blue untapped. Moon is kind of unfiltered. Yeah. You know. I was snapping the picture for Untapped, which reminds me. Yeah, what was uh, your little... Uh, okay, so Untapped got purchased by a, a liquor app called New Glass, or they're calling it a merger, the next step, we're moving forward. Is it, it's still going to be the same app, though, right? Yeah, that's they're what they're just, saying. They're Basically... There might be some updates or whatever. Well, what they, they wrote a long letter. I'm a, I'm a subscribing member of Untapped, and they said, well, you know, we, we have tried to make this our job, but we haven't been able to do it, and we don't feel like we can give it our best effort part-time, so we've merged. Or, you know, we're a subsidiary of New Glass now. Next glass, and they're going to provide some full time employees, and things will be better. So, next glass is the liquor version of right. Untapped. And yeah. I was always wondering why isn't there uncorked for wine? Right, right. Yeah. I was surprised. There, I, there may be, but who cares? I, I never found one. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. I like I'm to kidding. drink wine. You, come on, you don't. Well, I know your beer. No, yeah, I used to be guy, a wine. But I was a, I was a yeah, wine. Wine's uh, good. You can't snob hate on wine. until I learned I could be a beer snob. The beer's better. Yeah. It's better. Let's be honest. Who do you know has a, a wine gut? You know, it just <laughs> doesn't happen. No, you don't get that. It's part of my whole persona. But um, so yeah, this is a very. I mean, it's funny that they both say that they're winter ales because they are. These beers are drastically different. Well, you know, if you have winter in say Virginia and you have a lot of snow and cold, that's one winter. But you could have winter in Florida, right? Yeah, so that's this, a different winter. So is this so, what they're drinking in Chicago when winter comes, and yeah, this is what they're drinking in uh, yeah. Michigan when winter comes, huh? No, they're drinking that in Florida because the, 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 <laughs> the Goose Island is thick, so when the winds come off the lakes, they don't. It, don't, it won't freeze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will, but it, it's thicker. <laughs> So the lighter beer, you know, yeah, Michigan, they're probably in a better mood in Michigan, too. I mean, Chicago, come on. Uh, I guess it, I guess that they're just used to the winter all the time, so for them, it's, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, it's like beer. three weeks of summer. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, man, just in general, like, when I think of a winter beer, I think more of the Goose Island, like the darker, the, the those those aromas and whatnot. But this beer, the uh, the Bell's Winter Ale, is way more my style of beer. Like right. uh, I love the wheats. I mean, that's just that's just how I roll. <clears throat> and what else did it say on this bottle? It says it's. Uh, uh, it says it's nuanced wheat ale that is both stylish and refreshing. And refreshing. So it's seasonally <laughs> nuanced. Yes, definitely. So, but uh, but yeah. So it's I'm, a go-to beer for me. I think we we're talking about the pale ales. You get a six pack and go. This is one I can get a six pack and go. You know, without a doubt, so delicious. This is good, and this yeah. uh, the ABV. So it's really not a fair comparison because they really are two completely different styles of beer. Let's talk a little bit about winter beers or yeah, yeah, because holiday beers there, in general. There are a lot of different styles, but generally, when you think of a winter beer, you're thinking of the spices that might go right. into you're it. You're thinking or, of a Christmas ale. You're mm-hmm. thinking of uh, nutmeg and cinnamon and orange rinds, oranges themselves. Mm-hmm. So. You know, really, we. I just, you know, I, okay, man's in a hurry. Grab. They both said winter, <laughs> so you but just uh, you got to look at there. You know, you even get back to Oktoberfest in the winter is the Marzen style. The more that's more like the Goose Island winter ale. Mm-hmm. This is a weedier beer. Not really. This is more like a winter white ale. Ooh. So this is all about the snow. That's right. It is say white. Right. So I, I did kind white. of overlook that. The white. And I could is have probably. probably I think. Wirebacher makes a good winter white too. That might have been a better comparison, but it's all right because now we got two different styles of beer. We, we said we we're going to expand our horizons as we move forward, and I like so, that. So now we're looking at a, at a dark winter beer, a light winter beer. We can start moving forward and talk about some more interesting beers. I think I think we've hit, you know, we've actually we hit on weed a couple of times. That seems to be one you like, one I like. Yeah, you know, we still have stouts and porters and browns. 
you know, a lot of boring beers. That's, oh, just kidding. That's that's when we'll start seeing me rank below three. Right now, it sounds like I'm generous in everything. Well, I'm not super generous. Everything's been around, you know, around the three to four area. But once we start getting those stouts, that's, that's probably when you're going to start you know, seeing and, me. And you and I are probably in the minority <clears throat> because a lot of your craft beer people, well, people love, love the stouts. People love those dark beers. They love yeah, them, oh, man. You know. See, I'm not a coffee drinker either, so that might be right. play a part into it because I know that so many – like when I – Take a sip of stout. You just, I'm just like, well, this is just like coffee, you know? Right. And a lot of them are, I like a chocolate stout. And I like, you know, you put Imperial in so front of heavy. a Pilsner. Like, I can I'm only drink it. so much of them, you know? Like this this winter yeah. white ale, all day, baby. This, yeah, well. this is a session for me right here, all no right. doubt. Well, we're starting a session right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll oh, cheers to that <laughs> Cheers oh, yeah, to that one, man. <laughs> yeah. mm. Yep. We uh, we won't have to work tomorrow. I mean, no one cares. <laughs> It'll be okay, without a doubt, man. So what else is uh, what else is? Uh, tell me a little bit more about Vegas. Did we oh, dive Vegas. into that? Yeah, we got a little time. We can. Uh, yeah, we got know, a little time. Ellis Island is a, is it's like a day's in with a little tiny casino, but they have really good beer. It's a brew pub, and they always make special beers, and they serve their beers in these giant pilsner glasses. I have no idea what they hold, but I suspect it's like. 20 ounces and they're dollar fifty if you buy them but if you play a little blackjack or craps or oh. even if you put 20 bucks into the, the machine and at then the you're bar, sitting there just hitting yeah, the free beer that. free beer hang out oh yeah and what i discovered on this trip is they smoke ribs and chicken oh. barbecue i mean the sauce is so sweet that i actually was sticking i went in the bathroom and i stuck to the I put, grabbed that urinal hand my <laughs> hand stuck i couldn't get it off you grab the urinal cake no no not the cake <laughs> I needed dessert. In any case, <laughs> it was really sticky but yummy. And then the other place I like is the – well, actually, I stayed at Four Queens. I'd never stayed there, and they have a brew pub in-house there. Their beer, I would have to say, not as good. Mm. But it's, it's you know, it's craft beer, and they make it there. They're all excited about it. I just didn't share their excitement. And then I, I generally stay at the Main Street Station for a couple of days every trip, and they make really good beer, Triple Seven. They always have a good barley wine. They've been up and down over the years, but this latest brewer is really good, and the, and the beer is very good. And it was football and drunk people, and it was a good time. <laughs> they have good food, too. They have a steak that laps over the edges of plates. That's another thing we're going to have to delve into, man, is start bringing some food in with these beers. You're bringing the beer. Maybe I should bring the food one time. That sounds good. I, could, I mean, or maybe we should find a... I obviously like to eat. Maybe we should find another sponsor. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. have some ribs to go with it. <laughs> ribs. Yeah, well, pizza and beer. Let's be real. Pizza and beer. Well, you know, I always want to do a wing fest <clears throat> beer, a beer festival wing contest. And, you, and have all the restaurants in Blacksburg do it like at the market, and they all bring their wings, and we judge them. Sternly, <laughs> hey, dude. I'm uh, well, of course everybody loves wings. Yeah, who doesn't love wings? Bring it in. But the thing is, because each one is uh, they're uh, different. That'd be tough because not only they're different, but then each place has so many different ones too. So you'd have to try like yeah, we well, had to eight say wings from each. They all had to be hot, or they all had to be tiki or whatever. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Wow. So we uh yeah uh beer, beer. <laughs> from wings to beer. Wings to beer. All right, let's do. Okay, let's I'm, let's I'm, untap this bad boy. All right, where, all right. Where are you at? Your I turn. went for uh, yeah. I'll go first this time. Winter White Ale Bell's. Uh, Bell's is they they have a lot of good stuff, man. I've I've been a fan of Bell's. I've 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 had quite a few of their brews. The Winter White Ale. I haven't. I'm not looking at my untapped yet. I feel like I probably have had this before. Not sure what I rated in the past, but man, this is a damn good beer. Light, weedy, my style. It's hashtag unfiltered, so you can definitely see all the stuff floating in it, which I love because I feel like I'm getting like more good yeah, you stuff get some, for you're me. Getting some of that food you wanted mm-hmm. right in your beer makes it a little bit more hearty. You know, that yeast will keep you from getting sick too. See. Hey, and that's what you need yeah, in the winter. winter. That's right. <laughs> All right, man. Winter, winter white ale, Bell's winter white ale. I'm gonna have to give it a. I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a Woo! four. No, I'm not done yet. Woo! I'm not done yet. I think I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Wow, four point five, dude. I think we found your soft spot. This Drez. is. This is. I mean, I think we found it. I've been telling you, I like the the weeds, man. This is a damn good beer. Four point five. I, I mean, that's about as high as usually I give out yeah. unless I'm. A few, well, a few winter whales I'm in. honored I brought that beer in to you. That was a very good one. So that's me. So I feel like maybe we're going to finally have a different rating. Yeah, we are, what actually, because yeah. I'm going to you know, I'm gonna go on a – You're going to lowball it? I'm lowballing it a little bit. I'm going to give it a 375. All right, so still a little bit because, more than the goose. And I'll tell you why. It's an excellent beer. It's a go-to beer for me. But 
you know, I think they use the word winner a little too loosely, just like the Goose Island. That's you know, true. Maybe I should just, take off a half a no, point for no, that. No, no, no it, take backs. Well, when you hear winter, when you hear winter, you think that. But then again, it does say white. It is a winter white ale. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm just going to do that because that's the way I roll. I feel you, man. So three, there you go, three seven five for him. I give it a four point five out of five. Uh, that's on our untapped ratings. Trez drinks on there. Well, before Hux, we go buzz. away, let me give you a little more bells information. Well, oh yeah, heavy with giving, the bells. Yeah, we didn't my... delve into the bells. Well, the bells is, is makes a couple beers that are really really good. Like I said, that three uh, the no, hop slam. Island. They make the hop slam, mm-hmm. which is a, is a IPA ish hoppy beer. They also make one called Hop Solution, both of which are you know the golden fleece of beers. Hard to find. You got to search for them. Well, mm. they've upped the, the they've upped it. So we're gonna get some more. We're also gonna get the the hop solution which traditionally has been only in kegs is going to be coming in in cans this year so look for it at your uh, local Something beer be stores started. yeah definitely definitely li- who shall remain to be named when they start sponsoring <laughs> <us>. <laughs> when we finally <laughs> lock down that sponsorship <laughs> we'll tell you where to get it <laughs> uh, text me i'll tell you on that note uh huxbeerbuzz.com that's where you can find him get reach of him uh, he's on all the social media Hux Beer Buzz. and of course uh you can find me email me drez at 105.3 the bear if you have any suggestions on what we should be drinking on bruise day tuesday and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back with more tunes. And Huck, as always, I appreciate you bringing me some beer, man. Thanks for having me. See you next week. <laughs> All right, dude. Bruce Day Tuesday, wrapping it up. More rock after this. <laughs>